Dennis O'Regan, I'm going to come to you here first. Shh. Uh, you obviously ride plenty of horses for Gordon Elliott. You are around the yard in Calentra. You know what they think of Jerry Kalam. But what we want to know is what do you think of Jerry Kalam? Are you a big fan? Oh, I'm a huge fan. A uh, huge fan. Uh, very sound, solid jumper. Jumps very safe. Uh, jumps very, very well. Um, a real stare, just when you think you're getting to the bottom, he just he, he powers on again. He's a, a real top class uh, novice. Um, very, very safe bet for Cheltenham. Uh, he'll jump, he'll travel, and he doesn't over race. And uh, he just keeps on grinding, keeps on finding. You see him in sand down over trip, just a bit shorter side than ideal for him. And the way he attacked, his fences, uh, even when he made one slight mistake, he put down with Jordan there at one of the railways, and he just, he was out over it. A lesser, a lesser horse would have fallen. He's got bags of potential. He's unbeaten, and uh, I don't think he's ever been beaten. In Pint of Pints, Hurdles, I won a maiden on him in down right last year, and he didn't look the winner going to the second last, and he won by 20 lengths. You know, he's that type of horse. The only slight negative would be if Cheltenham got unbelievable dry uh, and the ground came up on the night on, on a good side that would be my only only negative on him uh, he would want it the harder work the better for him and uh, what you know he's he's very straightforward he'll pop out there in the first two or three as well he's very uncomplicated ride he he's a very safe bet for me and uh, you know he, he'd be a very good ride for a jockey a young jockey or anyone riding him he'd be he, he wouldn't be uh, no way difficult at all just Right away, solid yeah. favorite of five. Yeah, v very solid now. I'd be very keen them, but he is. That's the only worry I would have. If the ground was on the dry side, came up a little bit on the good, too good for him. I wouldn't like that. Johnny Deneen, you're straining your neck there, looking at prices. Five to two, Jerry Kalam, lay or play. Look, it all depends on the ground. I, I, I think he's massively ground dependent horse, um, Jerry Kalam. I couldn't have him on good ground on soft to heavy ground. No betting. He win half the track. But the ground is massive to Jerry Clam. I, I, I just think he barely gets away with the ground. He only barely got away with it. And s even last year, he won a hurdle race against um, Ida's boy. Ida's boy in Turles and like only fell in. But all his form on, on, on with a dig in the ground is excellent. And his brilliant jumper is safe, conveyance, does everything right, as Dennis said. But I do think he's massively ground dependent. And I, on what I'd be expecting to be goodish ground and what's normal Cheltenham ground, I think he could he could struggle, yeah. Okay, so if it is normal, goodish Cheltenham ground, he's going to struggle. What's going to win? I think it's an open race, to be honest. Um, I have a strong opinion. M maybe tying him his chance because he's a horse with a, bit of, with, a, with a bit of boot, even though he's a stayer. Well, Jerry Colombo is a real strong grinding horse, you know. Mm. But uh, like he's the man is a class grade one hurdle horse time meal but look, if, if, if the ground comes up like if, if, if it happened to be on the Wednesday that was Wednesday last year at Cheltenham I fancy Jer Jer Jerry Clam win 100 yards but when you get that ground it's unlikely so would you prefer to back Jerry Clam at just say 5-4 to four on bottomless ground than 5-2 to two on good ground of course you would yeah yeah he would of course the chance of getting bottomless ground is probably 10-1 to one, you know what I mean right yeah it was a hypothetical question alright <laughs> just saying <laughs> I'm just saying but, uh, I I'd back him uh, I'd back him at, at Six to four if I could cancel the bet. <laughs> okay. I mean. Yeah, I see where I see where you're going with it. Okay. So it is Jerry Kalam for, for Johnny if it is real soft ground and maybe Time Hill if it's decent ground. Uh, David Sir Gerhard, we haven't seen much of him this this year. We've only seen him once actually this season. Um Willie <laughs> Willie is doing a bit of a switcheroo here. I thought he was definitely going to go for the Brown Advisory, and then the last interview I heard he was kind of hemming and hawing. If you're giving him advice, where are you sending Sir Gerhard? Um, if I was giving him advice, geez, he, he does. Li don't give me that. He listens yeah. to you. He does listen to you. I'd say I'd say he'll run here. Is my guess. Um, I think he's got a big chance. Uh, I was really impressed with Jerry Kalam and Sandown, so I was. Um, I think he's a fair horse. Um, but I do think Orfel would have a lot more speed than him. Um, I think he's, he's a. I think he's a pacey horse. Uh, Sir Gerard, looking at the race, I didn't realize how bad a race it was. It's it's weak. Um, when you go down through it, the real whacker. I mean, I haven't seen him run out to tell me he's uh, Ruby tipping him to me like a <laughs> Ruby. What, what's yeah. the animal? about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, Time Hill has a chance, but the rest, Ramillies, the Devil's Coachman, Thunder Rock Stage, they're, <laughs> they're not good enough, are they? No, they're not. <laughs> no. So there's only, there's only three can win, like, really, looking at it. 
Jerry Colon, Mighty Potter won't run. Sir Gerhard Galliard, I'm assuming he's going to go the other way because Patrick will get his way. And Time Hill are the only three can win that I can see. Um, it's open enough. I, listen, sure, I'd have to back my own horse, wouldn't I? How, how is he working, Sir Gerhard? Oh, he's working well, yeah. Okay. There we yeah, go. Not a bother on him, yeah. He looked me straight in the eye there, so uh, that's a good sign. Uh, Sir Gerhard working well. 9-2 to two for the Brown Advisory. Sir Gerhard is the type of horse here, if it is... What do you think, Johnny? If he is definitely going here, he could be disputing favouritism with Jerry Kalam on the day on decent ground, couldn't he? Oh, on decent ground, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Gerhard is a high-class horse. What he did last year in the, in the, in the Ballymore, like, he, like Sir Gerhard on his day is a real, really top grade one horse. So he won the bumper and he won, you know, he won two big races in, in Chelham already. Look... Uh, the one thing he's no experience. Only one run, and and in, and in, in even in that run, like he kind of walked through a fence in in a no race and going, you'd have to think there's going to be. He a did find a point now as well. Yeah, I, 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 was I, it? I, I know, but th like to walk through a fence yeah, in, so in, in, in when, when nothing in the race, you know what I mean? You're he's not he's even a, under he's a million fences. Uh, any kind of pressure? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd be worried think, about. But I think the mistake he made in Gorn, I think, was just the fact, like he was an absolute certainty. Willie just told him show jump around, and I think Paul was looking for the short one and. The steed just came. I think in a competitive race, I think he'd, he'd be fine, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, if he is, he, he's, he's a great He's dangerous, chance. isn't he? He's dangerous in any yeah. race he turns yeah. up in any yeah. race, yeah. Absolutely. And the real whacker, Johnny, any chance? Oh, none whatsoever, no. He'd make the running for about two and a half miles. A great jumper, the real whacker, but he, he's lacking the class of a, of a, like, of a, like every horse will nearly have to make mistakes or something for him to have any chance, I think, anyway. You know yeah, I, mean? I knew the answer to that before I asked the question, so I was just looking for the reaction. Tony Keenan, any love for the real whacker here? What do you fancy? Ah, Jesus, no. See, the horse of Gordon Elliott that he beat in, in um, Cheltenham the first day, Indigo Breeze. Jesus Christ, he's absolutely run over at Dublin Racing Festival. He's beat after three fences. Um, Mon Morale there, second to him, the, the, the dipper. Ah, not at all. Not at all. Um, <laughs> this would be a very on Willie Mullins like thing to do in a run in Sir Gerhard. And David, I'd looked, I don't think he ever ran a horse in a Cheltenham novice chase that only had one chase run. I think uh, I don't know. Tony likes his stats. I love an outstat. Yeah, um, yeah. I thought that was into. It would be unusual, and the type of horse that usually would win this would be a hardened horse. And I was kind of hoping Gayard the Manee might turn up here. Um, I think he was torn a far better run of it last year um, than this. I think this is woeful, actually. I think the National Hunt Chase might be a tougher race than this. Um, I think to be coming toward behind Laham Press and a high senior with Capadano up your arse and fort is fairly strong form, and. He's a grade one horse, proven already. I'm kind of hoping he'll go here because I've backed him for it. Um, I think he, I think he'd be the one to beat. I respect Jerry Colomb, but I would be with what Johnny's saying there. He, he'd want a nice cut, and the old forecast doesn't look great. The water already. Yeah, absolutely. So you're a Gallard Manil fan if he runs here. Uh, Puppy, what do you like? I think Jerry Colomb will win. Um, I don't think he's as ground dependent as Johnny says he is. I think once it's on the slow side of Cody's all right. Uh, stepping up to three miles is really going to see improvement in this horse. Uh, strongly run race over three miles, you're going to see a huge improvement. Uh, if the ground is good and only good, he won't run. So non-run or no bet, it'd be fairly straightforward. Um, but once the ground is on the slow side of good, he'd be, he'd be fine. If it's like the first, the first day in Cheltenham last year, he won't run. Uh, of the rest of them, I think the arse will fall out with Sir Gerhard when he sees the big white board in the ditch heading up from the top of the hill. He's no scope. I couldn't <laughs> have more. I couldn't have more offences at all. Um, Can you see David Casey's face there? No. No. <laughs> He's he has absolutely zero scope and a three mile chase. So that's that's not good enough. Um, I think. Scope. I think uh, Tyne Hill is uh, is probably the safest bet. I'd say that. But if if the ground's on the slow side, Jerry Colon wins and wins all day. Uh, if we had a collection here, Peter, and we got about five hundred grand together, which one of these would we buy to send to you? I think Jerry Colombs. Um, I don't. I don't think Cheltenham will let the ground get too quick anyway. To be honest, they're watering it already, so they never. They're very. The, very the wind was blowing there. Yes, it was blowing the water off. It yeah, wasn't even going onto the track. They'll the the stand back. They were watering the, the road yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put the pipes further back. <laughs> um, no, he'll win. I think. To be honest, he's rock solid. Dual grade one winner. I think he's. I think he's a very good horse, no matter what turns up in the rest. Our ground. Okay, folks, we go across the line. Tony or Gallard de Manil. Gallard me, yep. Rob. Jerry Colomb. Dennis. Jerry Kalam, Gold Cup next year. Gold Cup next year, lovely. Jerry Kalam. Yeah, sure. So Gerhard, assuming he runs. And um, Johnny? Yeah, I'll go Tyne Hill Small. Yeah, we'll agree on that. I'm a Tyne Hill fan. That is your Brown Advisory Novices Chase. Get in on the action with epic offers from Boyle Sports on every race, every day of the Cheltenham Festival. Epic Cheltenham with Boyle Sports. It's time to switch.